All right, we want to turn now to some other breaking news overseas, and this is shocking. Russian state media is reporting a shooting, some kind of shooting, followed by an explosion occurred at uh, Crocus City. That's a major concert and events hall, a, a huge modern complex uh, in on the outskirts of Moscow. People in camouflage, at least three of them, they burst into the ground floor of the Crocus City Hall during a concert and opened fire with automatic weapons. Most of the building is now engulfed in flames. This is a major attack, the roof of that place. Like, think Madison Square Garden, think, or, or, or think something much more modern even. Think of, you know, SoFi Stadium or something like that in Los Angeles. The roof has collapsed. That's what's going on in Moscow right now. And our foreign correspondent, Tom Sufi Burridge, has been uh, doing everything he can to get as much information as possible. Uh, he's there in London uh, as this has been breaking. So, Tom, the Russian foreign ministry is calling the incident a terrorist attack. What do we know? Yeah, multiple Russian officials, Kira, are calling this a terrorist attack now. It looks, just looks at this stage like one of the worst terror attacks in the last few years in the entire of Russia. I mean, this is a major complex with a concert ongoing. We know a Russian rock band was performing at the time. Uh, what we can say at this moment in time is that gunmen entered that complex within the last few hours uh, with automatic weapons. They opened fire. You can see the concert hall now uh, ablaze. This is a developing situation right now. The incident is not over by any means, uh, according to reports. I mean, there are lots of unconfirmed reports about casualty numbers. Uh, only official sources are saying about 18 people hospitalized at this stage, but that only seems to be part of the picture. Unconfirmed reports, and I stress unconfirmed reports, uh, suggest dozens killed or injured and potentially people still trapped in that building. We know the Russian uh, military or special forces are on the scene, and there are unconfirmed reports that they are now trying to storm that concert hall. Wow, that, it, so it sounds that, that it is an ongoing situation, that this is not over? Is, am I hearing you correctly? And, and is there any sense on who did this? At this stage, that's definitely premature, Terry. I mean, I don't think we can get into uh, who was responsible. There's no claim from any group whatsoever at this point in time. Uh, look, this is definitely still ongoing. Uh, there are reports that the fire at the concert hall is getting worse. You can see the images. It's completely ablaze. We think people are still trapped inside. And there are unconfirmed reports that potentially hundreds of people, if not more, were inside at the time. That's unconfirmed information, though. Uh, there's lots of uh, information swirling around, as, as you'd expect, uh, as a story breaks and develops like this. But this looks like an incredibly bad attack, uh, a deadly attack uh, on the northwestern fringe of Moscow in potentially the biggest concert hall or commercial complex, uh, one of the biggest commercial and amusement complex in the entire country. So it, it's a developing story right now, and it's reminiscent of an attack in 2002 uh, when Islamist gunmen stormed a theatre and held many people inside. That was an incredibly deadly a terrorist attack, but there is no link at this stage to Islamist groups. Guys.